Hey there, Jim Johnson for Accent Help here. And I had a question from somebody about a recent post I made about the American R sounds. Specifically, this person was asking about the vowel version of the R and was saying, is there really a difference between this, which that's a diacritic for syllabic, meaning that it's a syllable, even though there's not a vowel there, or between that and this, which is the common way that I was writing the vowel R sound, or writing it as sort of a combination of those. Is there a difference between those? And I want to say, yeah, there's a difference between those. This one is what's called an approximant, which means it's a little bit tighter. It's sometimes called approximants or sometimes called semi-vowels. So they are vowel-like, but they tend to be a little bit tighter, whereas the vowels tend to be a little bit looser. This little wingding sort of on there means roticity. There's an R quality. And so this little thing means that there's an R that is sort of a part of that schwa sound. So the uh sound with that becomes er, er, as in letter, er, er. And is potentially, for many Americans, is the R sound that's after a vowel. So, for example, most Americans will make the R after the vowel lighter, sort of looser, easier, so that rare, it's not rare, it's dead, it's that one's a little bit looser, which is why I don't think that one expresses the way that many Americans will say it. Now, I do think this is maybe closer to what you'll hear from many Southern speakers, for example. But then the R that's before the vowel actually becomes a harder R as well, probably pulled back a little bit. That wavy line is a diacritic meaning that it's velarized or pharyngealized. So it's moving sort of towards the back and maybe up a little bit. Now, in case you were confused and you're like, why isn't he writing a regular R? Well, when we get to narrow transcription, this R is actually the trilled R at the front. What you might think of as a stereotype of Scottish, for example. Great, then right, then donkey, right? That kind of thing. So. In broad transcription, this just basically means, well, that's roughly an R. But when you get to narrow transcription, that means precisely it is this R. It is the trilled R, whereas this one is the R, and this one is the R, and this one is the R. R. This one also, I think, is not quite reality because the R is kind of happening simultaneously with the vowel. I like to think of that as... The R is sort of polluting the vowel before it, which is a very common thing. That's way in depth, but it's an answer to somebody's question. So hopefully others of you find it helpful as well. For more info on accents in general, check out accenthelp.com.